you guys welcome back to my channel I just got home from getting groceries I went to Trader Joe's Aldi and Publix and I thought they would do a little grocery haul with you I haven't done one here in a long time um, and so I'm just gonna show you everything that I got and also share with you my meal plans for the week um, so I'm gonna start with Trader Joe's because that is where I went first so the first thing that I grabbed when I walked in were these beautiful flowers. I always love getting fresh flowers from there. They have such a good selection and really great prices. These are $3.99. Um, I always say get your flowers from the grocery store because I find them to be nicer than at the florist. I think they last a lot longer and they're quite a bit cheaper. Um, so these are just Elstromeria. This is typically what I get. They're a really good hearty flower. These usually last me like two to three weeks. Um, and they come in lots and lots of colors, but they had so many pretty ones to choose from today. Moving on to produce, I grabbed a big ol' container of nectarines. I really wanted to get peaches today, but none of them are quite ripe, and these actually looked really good, and they smell amazing. I grabbed a bag of lemons and limes. I use these for cooking and then also just to put in water. And then I really love squeezing fresh lime juice on my watermelon. And I also picked up a big old watermelon earlier this week. So I'm excited for that. Um, I got a container of strawberries, um, some tomatoes. These are the Kumados. If you've never had these before, I highly recommend them. They are not always easy for me to find, so when I see them in the store, I do like to grab them. They are delicious. And then I just got a couple of dips. Um, this chunky guacamole is a favorite. I do like to make homemade guacamole, but when I'm feeling kind of lazy, this is always a good backup. Um, it's a little bit healthier than like the traditional store guac. Um, it's made with Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And then I also grabbed some tzatziki. I thought this would be really good for dipping fresh veggies in. Um, and I also was thinking I might do like a Mediterranean quinoa bowl for lunch one of these days with some light ground chicken or turkey, some sauteed veggies, and then I can top it with this. And then their salsa verde is our absolute favorite. It is so delicious. We use it for snacking. I use it for cooking. It is my go-to. Also grabbed some yogurts. Um, this one is the strawberry, banana, and then raspberry and lemon. These are yummy. All three of us love these. Gunner is obsessed with the strawberry one. And then some frozen items. I've got this little box of Bambino pepperoni pizzas. These are really good too. We all three love these as well. And they're like a really good, easy thing to throw in the toaster oven, um, like for lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, so we already have a box of the cheese in the freezer, but I needed another one of pepperoni. I also picked these up, the grass-fed Angus beef burgers. These are a little pricey, but I do like to keep these on hand. They are really good. And every once in a while, Gunner like gets this little like whim where he wants a burger. Um, and so these are just really easy to do. And then I grabbed four bags of the riced um, cauliflower stir fry. This stuff is so good. I had a bag of this in our freezer for like a month and I finally just made it this week. Holy cow, you guys, it is delicious. The flavor is so good. I just sauteed it on the stove and then added um, a couple of like over easy eggs. It was yummy. So I wanted to get more of these just to have as a backup on days where I don't feel like cooking or I'm kind of just like not feeling very inspired for lunch or dinner. And then the last thing I got from there were two more bags of the white cheddar corn puffs. These are really good. We all love these as well. These are just like the pirate's booty, but you get more of them and they're way cheaper. Moving on to Aldi, I picked up some grapes. We've got green and red. Um, I have a bag of yellow onions, some little potatoes for a sheet pan dinner that I'm gonna make this week, um, two cucumbers, green onions. Brussels sprouts are gonna be used for that same sheet pan dinner. Four avocados, some zucchini. Um, zucchini is my favorite vegetable, so I will eat the crap out of these. Um, I love them just raw with um, dips and just snacking on, but I'm also gonna saute some up. I'm gonna do this like Mexican zucchini. I can't remember what all is in it, but it's gonna go with a Mexican dish that we're doing this week. Um, hot dog buns, some cookies. I am a sucker for some soft, chewy cookies, and these 
just sounded really good. So they're the peanut butter candy cookies um, with Reese's Pieces. Some tortillas. I'm doing a Mexican lasagna this week, which is going to go with that Mexican zucchini. Um, and then little tostada shells. I love these. I actually prefer these over tortilla chips because they kind of have that like over cooked taste to them or they're a little burnt and I love them. We also like to do um, like little tostadas and um, Crunchwrap Supremes with these. I don't know why but I was just craving Twizzlers. <laughs> so they ended up having these there and I picked them up. I got a bunch of cheese. So queso fresco for the zucchini that I'm gonna make. I got some Colby Jack slices some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to use this. Um, I use this for a lot, but I'm actually going to use this for um, the roasted potatoes that I'm doing with that sheet pan dinner. Uh, I also got some goldfish, some salsa. This is one of my favorite like jar salsas to get. I don't know why, but there's just something about this one. It just tastes really good. Um, I got a sharp cheddar and Colby Jack some American slices. I picked up some ketchup. This is actually my favorite ketchup just tastes better than other ones I think. Some olive oil, I grabbed two more coconut cream creamers because I was completely out. Um, and then some juice for Chris. Um, this is the mango passion fruit and berry blend. I also picked up this apple chicken sausage. This is gonna be with the sheet pan dinner. So it's gonna be the apple chicken sausage with Brussels sprouts and red onion. Um, and then it has this like kind of honey mustard glaze that goes on top of it. It's really good. And then I'm going to do those um, roasted potatoes with it. Um, just some hot dogs for easy, like quick um, dinners. And then also Chris likes to take those in his lunch. Two things of 2% milk. I grabbed two turkey bacons and a pack of thick sliced bacon. We're gonna do BLTs this week um, at Chris's request. And then I grabbed two things of chicken breast just to stock up on and put in our freezer. Some freezer quart bags, sandwich bags, garbage bags, and then a big thing of paper towels. And then lastly from Publix, I picked up two loaves of bread. This is the Sara Lee butter bread. It's our favorite. I picked up some more. I got a lot of cookies today, so you can tell what was on my mind. Deluxe grams, these are my favorite and I was craving them. I picked some up recently from Walmart and they just were not the same. Um, cookie crisp at Chris's <laughs> request. Um, Gunner wanted some cupcakes, so I got cupcakes. He also wanted sprinkle cookies, so I got those. Um, Publix has really, really good cookies. And then some waffles for the boys. I picked up some ice cream. Um, this is the pistachio almond from Bluebell. This is like, pistachio is my favorite ice cream. Um, a red onion to go with that sheet pan dinner. Some cilantro, some bananas, a two things of cold brew, lots of juice. <laughs> Hawaiian punch and the mango punch um, Tampico. This is for Chris because he's a child and he only drinks juice and eats popsicles. Hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> And um, the Mott's Tots juice for Gunner. And then for meals this week, I'm gonna do teriyaki chicken kebabs with pineapple, and then jasmine rice and broccoli on the side. Um, have Mexican lasagna with that skillet Mexican zucchini. The sausage and Brussels sprouts sheet pan dinner with crash hot potatoes, and then BLTs with corn casserole. So that is everything that I got today. I'm like sweating and I feel like I'm out of breath with trying to get through all of this. It is so hot today and everything is just melting. So I'm trying to get through this and get it all put away. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what is on your meal plan for this week. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.